Thank you yourself man. Yes, well I know the finish. Well I know the finish. Yes, let's continue. Yes, today we'll be learning some interesting things. Let's ignore the music for now. From what you can clearly see, that is my TV set. And I'm currently powering it from this inverter system. Let me show you a clear picture of it from afar for you to see. You can see everything, everything in detail. I'm going to explain part by part. So I'm currently powering my TV set and the decoder is running. So I'll be explaining everything you see here. This is our charge controller, our PWM charge controller. That is pulse switch. It's written on it. You can clearly see it. So it's rated for about, look at it here, about 20 amp, that's it, 12 volt to 24 volt. This is my bulk converter. This one is not too necessary for you, except if you understand the basic concept. It is in my video. It improves the efficiency of the power coming from the inverter so that you don't draw down the power of the solar panel completely in the event that the sun is not too high, especially during rainy season. This is my circuit breaker. For any in the event of any error within the system, it cost off the battery so that you don't have fire outbreak. So this is my inverter, 1000 watts, that's it, 1000 VA. It's connected. It's a simple inverter. This inverter is the most commonly and most efficient inverter, uh, inverter in the market for now. Very effective. And the only problem you have with this type of inverter is you don't connect it to stabilizer or high power appliances such as inductive appliances like those that have coil like blenders um, fan and a host of other things this is my battery look at the information on it clearly this is 12 volt 40 amp with a charging setting of about 13.8 volt or 14 point it depends on how you are using it so this deep circle battery this is the most reliable battery if you multiply this 12 times 40 you have about 480 watts almost 500 watts this is another battery again some of you who want to cut corners this is it look at the 12 volt 75 amp so by ordinary eye this 12 volt uh, 75 amp should be bigger than this one but it's unfortunate this is a car battery this car battery will not give you the result the highest power you get is half which is if you divide the 75 by 2 and multiply by by the 12 volt, you, are, you end up having less than even uh, 400 watts. Just but this one will give you a better result. So go for deep cycle battery, even though this is not an advert placement. Let's let's learn the basic concept of how I arrived at this entire circuit I just showed you now. I'm going to be breaking down some things now. So before you go into any solar power system. Some key things you need to take note of. What and what and what and what do you need to know first before even venturing or making an attempt? First, you will need to know your power consumption. Your power consumption. So your power what, what and what determines your power consumption? The wattage of the appliance you are using. So for the case of my TV and the decoder, it consumes about 120 watts hour. So for us to know how many hours we will need, then you would also need to know the hour at the duration of time you're using it. So I'm using it for four hours. I want to be powering it every day from four hours, maybe from six to nine, or let's say from six to ten. So if you multiply this by four, you end up having four hundred and eighty. So this is our power need. We need four hundred and eighty watts. So from this four hundred and eighty watts. From the video you saw, that is how I arrive at my 12 volt battery. Multiply by the 40 amp of the battery, I ended up having 480. So that means this is a very good start. So after getting this, we are having 480 watts battery. That is a 12 volt 40 amp battery. So how do we get to know the size of the solar panel that we need to charge it? This is another problem comes. So these are the steps you need to take. So for us to know how many hours, we are going to divide the 480 watts of our power, that is of the battery, by the duration of hours we want to charge it. Is it 4 hours? We want, do we want the battery to be charged, fully charged between 4 hours, 3 hours? or So depends on the sun intensity. Let's pick 6 hours because that is the maximum time the sun intensity is mostly high in most part of where I'm staying, which is from 9 to 3 or possibly 4. You can use 7 hours too, but let's use 6 hours. So going by 6 hours, if you divide the 480 by 6, you will have 80. 
which is exactly 80 watts. So by application, we will need, a four, we will need an 80 watt solar panel for our charging system. So from the rating of the solar panel, you will notice that most 80 watt solar panel have a rating of about 17 volt at two point sorry at about five arm of current. So it means we need is a panel that is a, a charge controller charge controller that is above uh, above 10 arm sorry above five arm which means from 20 arm to 30 will be a good start for the charge controller. So that is how I arrive at that charge controller I showed you and the entire basic details I showed you earlier. So by implication, you can see how the entire summary of everything is. So by the time you get all this is intact, it means you are good to go. And it's applicable to virtually every form of solar power system that you want to go into. So this is for the start. You can clearly see it. So everything is break down into detail. So you must be able to have a very good analysis like this before you can go into it. If not, you end up having a system that might not get your battery fully charged or you might end up creating a bigger problem that you might not be able to solve. Or if you have any problem anywhere along your solar power system, you know you easily know how to go about it and fix it from this breakdown I just gave you. So this is the elementary part. I'll be making the next video to give a breakdown of the cost implication. But for you to put this entire system, it might cost you almost about a hundred thousand. That is from the Nina for the from the Nigerian uh, system. So even though it might appear very expensive, but you notice that by the time in my next video when I will be giving a breakdown, you notice that it's going to be worth it. So if you are expanding the scope, that is how if you are expanding your size of your battery, that is how your charge your charger will also increase. You might still maintain the same size of your water, then they possibly increase your load. Then your load will determine how long. So if you are to power our laptop. Our laptop draws about 1.6 amp of current. Most laptop. If you multiply it by, please check the specification information on the laptop charger. Sorry, I'm not having one here. So if you multiply it, you will have about 480. Sorry, you will have about uh, multiply by 220 volt. You will have about 352 watts. So by implication, if you are to run this, 